if you're familiar with the Windows environment, in a domain, when users log in, they actually run a login script. Well, it's very similar to that in a Linux environment, except for the fact that you actually run several different logon scripts. It's basically called a log shell or a login shell. And basically, these are various profile and configuration scripts that provide the user with an actual bash session or overall configuration options. So there are a couple of different layers to this. And we'll start out with walking through the steps that would actually take place if a user were to log on. So for example, let's say that a user types in their username and their password. Well, the first thing that's going to happen is the ETC profile, or the global configuration file, is going to be executed. So we're going to run through and configure any options that are set there in the global configuration file. Now, the important thing here is the last script that runs is the script that's going to win. And basically, that means that if the global configuration file specifies a conflicting option with, say, for example, the bash profile, the bash profile is going to win. So we get our basic generic settings first from the ETC profile or the global profile. Then our bash profile script runs. Now, when that runs, it will overwrite any global configurations that have taken place. So after our bash profile has been run, we're going to move over to our bash RC. Now remember, after the global configuration file, the actual bash profile itself is only going to affect that individual user. And as we've mentioned here, we can also have the bash profile renamed as bash logon or a dot profile script. So directly following that, we're actually going to move into the bash RC which is also going to be called, and any specific settings there will override any previous settings. Now at this point, the user actually gets their shell, and they can actually type in commands and do whatever it is that they want to do. But it doesn't end there. At some point, the user's got to log off the system. So once we decide to log off the system, we actually go in and the bash logout script is run. So technically, if you had to figure out what the last log on script that runs during a user session would be, technically that would be the bash logout script. So even though you're logging out and you're ending your session, it's still a script that is part of the logging in and logging out process that must be completed during a session with a user. So this should give you a pretty good idea of how these user login profiles are parsed as the login and log off process moves forward.